Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this puppy right here. This is the Ice Make, and it's by, I'm not going to pronounce the name because I'm not going to get it right. It's like a Shigar, S-H-A-R-G-E. This is the Ice Make Power Bank. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And what sets this apart from other power banks that I have um, unboxed and reviewed that this has what's called turbo cooling, an active cooling system inside um, the power bank. And, you know, it basically um, dissipates heat because, you know, the smaller we try to get the power banks and trying to still keep it at 20 watts, trying to get keep it charging quick, it makes heat. And a lot of times, you know, the thinner the power bank, the more heat it has. So it's, it's a balance of trying to keep it thin, but keep it thick enough to have air circulate through the, um, throughout the po power bank. So this right here has active cooling system built into the power bank. So we're going to get to the eagle eye view. But before we get to the eagle eye view, do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to say it one more time. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel so we can grow this unboxing community without Without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Eye View. All right, everybody, welcome to the Eagle Eye View. This is how the packaging look up close. See, I'm um, 20 watts mats. Now you have this power bank. This is how everything looks. Look at all the specifications. Leave it up there for a couple of seconds. There you go. So we're gonna to try to see if we can open this without a knife today. I don't think I should have used a knife. We already got it. All right, guys. I think I should have just go ahead and use the knife. All right, there we go. All right, as you can see, here we go. Before we look at the actual, have fixed it. Now, this thing has a thick book here, guys. Thick book. All right, we have this. We'll see what's in here. Right, we have USB C to USB C, USB C to USB C, our book, and that's everything else. So there's nothing else in here, as you can see. Let's get to the main unit. And this is how it looks, guys. Look at that. Let's go ahead and There you go. That's how it looks. Everything here. You got the fan. You got the. I guess this is where the, the air blows out. Probably where the air sucks in. So you have an on and off button here. Let's see if it comes on. But we'll see about that in a minute, guys. So this is how it looks. When a boy like a shot, doing that disassemble. So please, guys, don't disassemble. You don't know. What oh, okay, there we go. So it's on. So I'm guessing when it heats up. Okay, so that's not a vent. Sorry, guys, it's not a vent. That's the indicator. So this is how it looks, guys. 10,000 mini What we're going to do, go ahead and compare the size and shape and see if it's thicker than other type of MagSafe that's on the market. Some of the ones that I have um, unboxed. As you can see here, before I go into that, it says um, output max. It says airline safe, and it says wireless charging as well. So you see everything there. So let's go to and comparing it with others in the price range and in the um, 10,000 milliamp hour wattage. As you can see, these are some of the ones I have, the Anchor one. As you can see, it's a little taller than the anchor, but it's about the same width as you can see. So it's not not bigger, but it's not thicker either. So they kept it around about the same footprint 
that's of the 10,000 milliamp hour. Like this is taller. It is taller, but as you look at it, it's about the same thickness. So that's pretty good for 10,000. That means they didn't make it no thicker, so it's not heavier. And to be honest with you, it feels about the same. This one's a little bit more heavier than this one here, but it's about the same heaviness. So, and then I'm going to bring out the Volt Me too. This is doesn't have MagSafe, but it also, but as you can see, it's 10,000 milliamp. Now this one is thinner and this one is taller, but as you can see, you know, within that range that you're not compromising on side, size or weight. Now these weigh a little bit more than this does, but as you can say, as you can see, I said say, you can see that it's around about the same, you know, weight and same size. So let's go ahead and get to the charging. Let's go ahead, give it a charge. See, I have this right here. I'm gonna just use this wire. Then we're gonna try it with this right here, just to make sure. So we're gonna go ahead and plug. And as you can see, it's charging up. So let's undo it. Okay, there you go. Let's do it one more time. There you go. So it's charging up. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and use the wire that it came with just to make sure that it's working. There you go, it is charging up. All right, so we see how it looks when it's charged up. Let's go ahead and get to charging up some phones. With okay, guys, I got a secret for y'all. And today we're gonna be trying out this phone as well. This is the iPhone 13 Red Edition. And my daughter gave me this, she got the new phone. And so she said, um, Dad, I want you to have this so I can use it so you can see that it works well on all type of phone. I could be using the Samsung Galaxy Ultra 24. Um, I'll do that in a regular view so you can see it works. So let's get to it. Now, one thing I do say about iPhones is that you don't need a case to make the mag safe. It has a strong enough battery. So let's go ahead, hit the button, make sure it's on, and let's go ahead and get to it and see what it does. And there you go. It is working. It is literally working. Now you can see that when it comes on, now the battery is going. Look at that. I mean, the uh, fan is turning now. Fan is going. I don't feel no air. Hold on. I don't feel nothing, but it's on. As you can see, it's on. So we're going to take it off that so we see it. We're going to do it one more time. As soon as it goes on, there you go. It start working. So we know that works on there. So we'll take this off. So we're going to go ahead and put it on this without the case first. And it does stick. And there you go. It does work. So we're going to do that again. We're going to turn this off. What are we going to try to turn it off there? And so we're going to put it on here so you can see that it, that it does work. I'm trying to unlock my face. There you go. So it does work. And it says charging wirelessly. So you can see that it does work. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put this on the case. Because with the case, it makes it allow, allows it to stick. So you can so be on it. And it still works. It says charging wirelessly. So we got that. That's done. So what we're going to also do is see if it can give a charge by using the wire as well. So here we go here. Take this little thing off. Make sure... And it does, it says charging. It says charging rapidly. Do that one more time. There you go, it's charging. Now I'm gonna have to get a um, adapter. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys, had to get the adapter here because since this is an iPhone 13, you have to use the lightning port, you have to use this. Put that in. See if it if it charge if it charges. And there you go. So it works. Charges. So as you can see, it works on everything. I like it, guys. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to 
charge up, um, see if it stay cool, if it get hot. And then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts and give this puppy the ice to make um, a great. Yo, 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 I'm back, guys, to give my final thoughts on the ice mag, ice mag power bank, 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Um, but before we do that, I want to show you that it does work on the um, on the Samsung 24 Ultra. We're going to do it without the case. So we can see if it, if you see, it's working because the color is on and it came on. So it says charging. So we're going to put the case back on so you can see that it still works how did it do turn this off put this on and there you go it's working let's do that one more time turn that off it's kind of hard from this angle let's see and it's working there you go it's on you can see back here it's moving as well um guys i i do like it as a power bank i think it rocks um now i did leave it now you can um charge it up and use it while it's charging up to charge up your phone i did that and it does work um now the bottom portion of this is the um where it blows out the hot air and the side rails are where it takes it the, you know the fresh air coming in and it blows out the hot air um at the bottom now it didn't get warm at all guys now now i've been using my anchor for a while now and this one for a while and these they get a little bit warm um which is you know which is normal um they do get a little bit warm now i'm not saying they're, they're overheating they don't get hot but they do get a little warm a little warm to the touch um this one did not get warm to the touch that i can tell um, again, um, when I used it on, you know, just like iPhone, it worked. Um, I don't feel the air, but I do, you do hear the fan and it's very quiet. I don't know if, if, if this can pick it up. I'm gonna try to see if it can pick it up. So I don't know if you can, if you could hear that, hopefully you can. But it doesn't get warm at all, guys. So I don't know if it's really working or if it's just a gimmick. Because to be honest with you, it's not like it's filling up all of the cavity here and it's circulating the air all around in the cavity that I can tell. It might be. Um, and I just can't tell. But I can definitely tell that is is the air is moving down here in this part. So how much more difference does it make? Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you without a um, without a heating gun, some that can that can um, register heat before and after and during the use. And you know, I haven't bought one of those yet. I get the money for that. But as of right now, I'm hoping it works. Um, it did not get warm. I charged it up and let it charge up the iPhone. As you can see, um, I plugged it in. You know, and as you can tell by the lights, it's moving, it's charging. And then I put it on the iPhone and it came on, says it's charging. And I left it there and it didn't get warm. So maybe the fan is doing what it's supposed to do. I can't tell if it's doing it. I mean, if it's not, if it's not overheating, it's doing its job. But again, I don't know how much, you know, air is moving throughout the whole battery. So I would get, I, I give it an A right now until I'm just convinced it's not working or it might not be in making that much of a deal because like i said these two don't get very hot at all um so i don't know if the ice mag is um doing what it's supposed to do it says staying cool on the move and i'm guessing that it's doing something it's, it's dropping the temperature by or keeping it cool by so many degrees i just can't tell but um as far as a charger mag safe it works works like a charm because it's a good power bank I mean, it doesn't get doesn't get hot. Um, it does exactly 20, 20 watt, twenty watt, twenty watt. It does. Um, but is it worth fifty nine ninety nine, sixty dollars, sixty one dollars and forty nine cent to be exact? Because of the cooling system, um, that's a whole nother question. I believe this is like a thirty nine ninety nine, forty dollar deal. Because to me, and again to me. 
is the cooling making that much of a difference from this to this? I don't know. Um, and don't get me wrong, I love the tech. I love the fact that it has it because, as you know, heat is the worst thing for a battery. So something to keep it cool, yes, but how far does the air circulate? I don't know. I don't know if it circulates throughout the whole chamber or just this bottom part. I don't know. Um, but I do know it works. It works fairly well. I mean, it works very well, not fairly, very well. And is it worth $59.99? I would say no. It's worth $39.99, $40 deal. Because um, I don't know if the tech is really doing anything or more than what this one is doing and what Anchor is doing. And I've been using my Anchor for a while now and has it overheated. It's been warm to the touch, but that's most um, battery packs get warm to the touch. And I'm not talking about super warm when, it, when it's burning your hand, but it just gets a little slight warm because you know it is, it is creating heat um, when it's charging up your device and when you're charging it up. Um, so I give it A. Now, is it worth fifty nine ninety nine because of the the coolant or the cool the fan cooling? Sorry, cooling the battery. I don't know. Um, I have to use it for a long time to see. Does it make a a difference when I keep it on there for an hour? When I'm playing a movie? When I'm playing um when I'm playing you know a long movie or something? Keep it on there, keeping the phone going as I'm charging at the same time. Let's see how it works then. But as of right now, opening it, you know, giving it a couple, give it a little time to charge, about an hour or so charging time, letting it charge up the phone, it works perfectly, guys. How much heat is displacing, I don't know, but the fan works. But as of right now, I give it an A. Um, I give it an A, but I don't think it's worth fifty nine ninety nine. Now, if you can find it on sale for thirty nine ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine, I say go ahead and get it. Um, the construction is is good. It's not flimsy. It's really made very well. The construction is very well. So on that end, it's worth it. As far as the fan, don't know. But I'm going to give it an A for right now. Um, I'll put in the link below if you want to get it. $59.99. I think it's a little steep because I don't even think this is 59 I think this is like 39 or 29 right now. And this is right now. This was going for like 19 to $20 for this on sale. So there's plenty other ones that you can get that's going to be cheaper than this one. And, you know, and with times the way it is, um, try to find it on sale. Um, I think it's a little steep for $59.99. I'm loving the tech. I'm not saying the tech is not worth it until we figure out is it really doing what it says it does. So as of right now, I'm gonna give it an A plus because I don't find no fault in it. It works as it says, it's not just flimsy. It's made out of good material. So I'm gonna give it an A for right now. Hey guys, do me a favor. Before we go, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm saying it again, please like, share, and subscribe. We're up to 915 subscribers, guys. I couldn't do it without you. So please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up so we can get deeper into the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to get to 1,500 within a couple of months. I know we can do it. I can do it with your help. So I just want to thank my current and new and new and current subscriber for rocking with your boy. This is your boy, the Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech. Thank you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey. Guys, we got some more unboxes coming soon, so please hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified anytime we drop a new video. You have a good day. Peace.